me like gang. Welcome back to my channel, guys. <laughs> I'm here. I came back for you guys. <laughs> so this video I'm filming is gonna be like a mommy talk. Um, I asked you guys to ask me some question on Instagram, so I will be answering all the questions. I mean, not not all of them. Maybe yeah, like, there was a lot of question, yeah. guys. So <laughs> maybe like few of them we're gonna answer. The most important one, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's about it. So let's get right into this video. Yeah. Drinking. I eye in my ears. Mm -hmm. oh. Boom boom bam bam flash bam. So yes, yeah, so we're all drinking. So who asked, do you remember who asked the question first? I'm it was a, this one or this one? Um, yeah, I think it's like on the bottom and then go all the way up. Yeah. You want it? So we're going to answer like, which one you want to choose? Up to you. Let's just, you can okay. choose. So. Mm, before we answer the question, I want to ask you something. Ask me something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, okay. how do you feel being an auntie, new auntie? How do you feel about that? And how do you feel about your niece? Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You waited to ask that nice question on camera. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, let me tell you guys. She's the sweetest, beautiful baby, pure soul. I don't know if you guys know, but we lost somebody dear to us very right. couple months back. Since I had my little niece, I feel like that she has a little, um, how can I explain that? Like some energy from yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. I feel every night, like a part of her. Every time mm -hmm. I have, you know, me yeah. too, me, it's like, I know. Oh, <laughs> I know, you know, I know, I know. Guys, being and, an auntie is the best, yeah, okay? And it's we both best. have girls. And we, that's crazy, right? Do you really want to tell them what's up with our girls? So let me say, you want to say it. No, go ahead. Go so, ahead. guys. As you can know, I'm the oldest sister, she's yeah. the youngest. So I was born in 1994, my sister was born in 1998, so before years apart, right? Mm -hmm. So tell me how my daughter is born in 2017 and your daughter is born in 21. So it's like four years apart. Four years apart, just like us. Just like us. That's crazy, right? History speaks itself. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what it is. So we both had girls. Yep. And let me tell you, it's crazy, but it's definitely a learning experience. And you yeah, think you'll be ready to be a mom, mm -hmm. you'll never be ready. You just mm -hmm. get, get to happen, exactly. and once it happens, you just adjust to it, you know. Mm -hmm. But I love being a mom, I love being a mom, so me too. And I love that you know, you already had the experience, you can teach me some stuff, you know what I'm saying. So she started having experience with my daughter, yeah. When I, I had did. my daughter, she was always there 24 7, so yeah, you yeah. had experience, yeah. I did, I did. yeah. So let's get to the first question. Yes. So let's get to the questions. Guys. First question. First question. So somebody asked, how's your mindset as a young parent? My mindset? Okay, can I go first? I want to go first. Oh, what is my mindset? I feel like my mindset. As a young parent. As a young parent is my daughter come first. I think I think that is my mindset. Like, There's she thinking. always come first to me. Like, you know, that's how. It's like, what is your mindset? I would say me. I'm shit. That's a, that is a hard question. I never thought of that. What is my mindset as a young parent? Mm -hmm. I wasn't ready for it. It just came. It happened. I was grateful. I'm happy. She exactly. she she made me express another side of me that I didn't know I had. Mm -hmm. The nurture. I mean, of course, I know my feminine energy. So I will mm -hmm. nurture. We love it. We love to give. Yes. We love to feed. That's who we are mm -hmm. as women. But when you are a mother that's your child so mm -hmm. now you have to have to do it and it's like mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing it it makes you see the words in many other ways because mm -hmm. now okay you don't put yourself first all the time so right. now maybe you can do the same with other people you know right, right, put right. other people in front of you and be like okay maybe mm -hmm. question you know, number two it's for you okay. you can choose um okay what is the best thing as a mom the best thing is waking up to oh, her. Oh, I was about okay, to. No, go ahead. Go <laughs> no, ahead. but I think you snatched it. I would say is hearing my daughter call me yes. mommy and tell me, mommy, I love you. See, oh. not my mind, baby, don't talk it. Yes. But me, uh, I feel like the best part is just enjoying her smile when I yes. see her smile. Yeah. Or when she's just happy or when she's just trying to, you know, trying yeah. to hug me because, you know, she's already like trying to grab people's yeah. face and now so it's like yeah that's the best thing of it being is the mom. best thing and then dressing her making you know, your your kids happy best yes, feeling ever that's the best part of being a mom i feel mm -hmm. like for me so and what about you did you say 
I did. Okay. Lala say, mommy, I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mommy, I love you. You my best mommy. Mm -hmm. She don't say that. You my best mommy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you. Your turn. Okay. Next question. Mm -hmm. Advice for people who plans to have a baby. Okay. Ah. Okay. Oh. Quick. Like I was saying, me, he exactly. just cannot come just off happen. guard. It just happened. Yeah, so I wasn't prepared exactly. to just you know. But you know, since we have experience, yeah. definitely have peace of mind because yeah, when when you're a woman and you're pregnant mm -hmm. your kids can feel energy because it's inside of you mm -hmm. so you need to make sure that your head space you had you had peace at yourself you had mm -hmm. peace at your home mm -hmm. that you have people that loves you and you love back so your child can get all that positive loving mm -hmm. energy from the womb exactly. now when the child come into earth it's a loving baby a happy baby like yeah, Sumi. right exactly. <laughs> and Lala. yeah exactly. i would say definitely take care of yourself first yeah. so you can be the best for your child mm -hmm. and for me i would say make sure you guys choose your partner i would say maybe Ooh, that one yeah because the one night stand babies mm. it's not even that it's like after True. you had a baby it's just like you oh. need somebody you need that support you need it and even when you're pregnant too because yeah, so your hormones go crazy and exactly you need somebody mm. that will support you through Don't everything. let me start talking about these men's now, okay? Because <laughs> this is real. about babies and the mommies. Because yeah. we need a separate video exactly. about these men. about like baby daddies. <laughs> Comment down below if we should do like a video about, you know, our baby daddies and, you know, in general and stuff like that. Y'all want to know about the like, baby daddy? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, baby father. I don't like baby daddy yeah. term. Yeah, right, then. <laughs> my baby, no, my daughter's father. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, next question. That's you okay next question did you go through postpartum depression go first uh honestly i did but just a little bit not that much <laughs> yeah i did in our hospital like, i broke down i started crying i'm like because it was this <laughs> yeah it's something that happened in the hospital and it did make me feel so bad oh, wow. so yeah i was going through it yeah i mean i was crying but you know what happened off camera hi <laughs> Yeah, so yes, I did did go to postpartum, but it was just for like, um, meanwhile I was in the hospital and you know, but after that I was fine. I was really fine. So I'm very very blessed for that. Yep, I was really blessed. So I'm happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you? Well, let me tell you something. Me, I feel like I didn't, but I did because of whatever was going on mm -hmm. and you know mm -hmm. like i said it, this gotta be a different video because yeah it's something completely different as for me after having my daughter i was super happy yeah. I, 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 only I was cried. there i was there I remember. oh yeah i only cried when <laughs> she came out of my body and they put her on me yeah, when i felt my skin on my feeling. skin y'all yeah. best feeling ever. ever you feel relieved and yeah. happy and <sighs> i know right you know that mm-hmm <sighs> that yeah that's peaceful when she was on me yeah. i was very emotional but after that i was i was pretty good okay. but i went to depression because mm, you know yeah because of that okay next question next question okay. what are the most important things as a mom should teach their children i think the person tried to ask what is the most important thing as a mom to teach your children okay so i would definitely say respect i would definitely say be independent and be your own boss definitely and then um teach them that knowledge that we didn't go up having everything that you learned as an adult yes. teach it to your kids so early. they can grow I, up with it exactly with the early age so definitely that would be my answer for this one um as for me i'd say just like i just said definitely everything that i didn't know growing up as a little girl exactly. I, I will put that knowledge into my daughters knowledge about how important her credit is knowledge about what she really wants to do in her life it's not about the money or the status it's about your happiness of heart i will and teach her enjoy doing also. yeah your heart gotta be into it i'll teach her that sometimes life goes and comes and she here to enjoy her life mm -hmm. as much as she can and her mom's always gonna be there for her so definitely about credit financial freedom about you know energy chakra okay. so next question um uh, does it give it oh my god <laughs> does it ever give it <laughs> does it ever get hard Whew. 
You yes. didn't mind. It's hard. Like, it does. It, it really does. does. It's like, okay, you were struggling by yourself, right? You're like, exactly. okay, I got it. I got it. It's yourself. But now, you have somebody else that depends on you. Exactly. So you gotta find a way yes. one way or another. There's no way around it. And then that's why No I was, more excuses. Yeah, and that's why I was telling you about having like a supporter because it's already hard on you. You're already taking care of a baby. And then imagine you have other stuff to do. You got work. You got school. So it's always to have somebody that yeah. supports you and understand you. Yeah, you need so, emotional yes, support. That's you one thing do. I really learned. You really do. Next question. How do you take care of them? Okay. Basically, I would say the way you take care of them, if you bring you at this and you don't have no experience with kids, no little sisters, little brothers, no, you've right. never been around babies, take your time. You get this. It's a learning experience. And guess right. what? We are still learning because I never had a kid that was a toddler. I never had a teenager before. That's my first child. Now she's right. five. You know, she's a little toddler, a little mm. girl. I never had a little girl before. So I'm still, every stage and ages your child will go through is a new learning experience. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to answer two more questions and then I think that'll be it. And then I'll probably. There was a lot of questions. There was guys. a lot I'm of sorry. questions. And then, you know, yeah. So two more questions. Uh, that person asked, do you want more kids, lol? <laughs> um, Honestly, I do want more kids, but. When Sumia is probably like three or four, probably your daughter age, I yeah. will probably have another one. Maybe. It depends on the situation. If I'm still with the baby father, maybe. Why not? But if I'm not, no more for me. I think I'm going to take a little break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already know the answer for exactly. this one. Exactly. I know you I know. know. It's a no. She it's a no. I but think I I'm a top her. of one kid type of mom no we need to have at least one more we need we need a boy Come we on. do need a boy we, we need, do but we if you got it though two little boys all right so the last question is do you intentionally play certain kinds of music for your baby's development and i'll go first mm -hmm. because like i said i am doing it and the answer is yes so I remember when she was in rome i used to love classical music of course mm -hmm. and all baby love music i know so right? Classical music was mm -hmm. my most one, yes. I play frequency, so 432 hertz, you know, if you know about frequency and chakras yeah. and energy, yeah, that's us. So I used to play this for her, and as I played for her, I could feel the energy, like she was moving, oh, so feeling cute. it, you know. So yeah, guys, you should definitely, music is information. In the music, the frequency, your baby learned from it, mm -hmm. and your baby either grow from it or degrade from it. Exactly. So okay yeah and um me personally i didn't do it while i was pregnant but i'm doing it now for her so yes i do y'all listen everything that you see everything that you smell that you eat that you hear that you touch mm -hmm. that's why you have your five sixes but i must say five that's why you have your five senses that's how you pick up information from the earth right it's all energy and frequency so Make sure when you're on your child, you watch what you're listening to. So all these new music mm -hmm. talking about, you know, I don't even have to say it. Exactly. Like, don't play it, that It's a programming your for your child. Don't let your child get programmed into that stuff. Because mm -hmm. I know you can't really control everything, but what you can control, control it. Exactly. That's what I would say for exactly. now. So, yeah. So, yes, guys, this is all for this mommy video. And if you guys want a part two of this video, make sure you guys comment down below. And or for the dads. Yes, we should do a part two. I think we should. Let, yeah. let us know down below. And yeah. we'll do it definitely, guys. So thank you guys for tuning in with us. And thank you guys for watching my video. And that's it, guys. I'll see you guys in my next. Bye, me like gang.